Good morning and welcome to today's International Space Station Update Hour. You're joining us here at the International Space Station Flight Control Room at the Johnson Space Center in Houston, Texas, where the Orbit 2 team is currently on console, monitoring all of the systems on board the orbiting laboratory. That team being led today by Flight Director Chris Edlin there in the middle of your screen, and then joining uh, in the upper left portion is Capcom Dan Tanney, serving as the communication link between all the controllers here on the ground and the astronauts up in space. And those astronauts right now are the current three-man crew of Expedition 31, just kicking off their first full week since the departure of their previous Expedition 30 crewmates. On the, starting on the left, you have NASA astronaut Don Pettit, one of our flight engineers. In the middle, Russian cosmonaut and Expedition 31 commander Oleg Kononenko. And on the right, European Space Agency astronaut Andre Kuipers. Three have been on board the station since uh, December and will remain there uh, for the next couple of months as, again, they're beginning uh, Expedition 31 on board the station. Some of the activities for them today, starting off with Commander Kononenko, who was spending much of his time unloading some items from that Russian resupply ship, the Progress 47 craft, which has been docked to piers, uh, the Earth-facing side of the Russian Zvezda service module since April 22nd. He'll be unloading some cargo items from there and updating the station's inventory management system. Moving on, Andre Kuipers is going to be doing some cargo unloading activities of his own, but from the European Space Agency's cargo craft, the ATV-3, or Eduardo Amaldi, he'll be spending a good time, a uh, good portion of his time today doing that, and then also moving later on to working with the integrated cardiovascular monitoring experiment. This is a uh, U.S. experiment that looks to study uh, heart atrophy or the weakening of the cardiac muscles inside the human body as they're exposed to the microgravity environment of space over the long duration of their expedition flights. And then our NASA astronaut Don Pettit will be conducting some more vision tests today, working with Robonaut, the station's robotic guest currently on board. He'll be using a t setting up a task board while robotics controllers down here on the ground look through Robonaut's eyes and move him through a few more exercises, testing out his hands and also uh, his visual acuity. You can see Robonaut here with Don Pettit in the background there, set up in the Destiny Laboratory. And then aside from that uh, Robonaut work today, Don Pettit is also working on replacing the Biolab uh, or the Biological Experiment Laboratory in the Columbus module, working on uh, changing out one of the incubators inside of it. Biolab is used uh, on board the station to perform different space biology experiments on microorganisms and then cells and different tissue cultures, and also small plants and invertebrates. And then this is just one of the many experiments on board station looking to get a better understanding of the effects of microgravity and also space radiation on biological organisms. So aside from all of this activity today on board the station, again, we're currently in a three-man crew since the undocking last week of Expedition 30 Commander Dan Burbank and fellow Russian cosmonauts uh, Anton Shkaplerov and Anatoly Ivanishin. We'll be in this three-crew rotation, uh, as you can see here, the, their Soyuz descent craft landing in Kazakhstan. That happened uh, early Friday morning central time last week. The three had been on board the station since mid-November, and their landing brought a close to Expedition 30 and the beginning of Expedition 31. The three remaining crew members of Expedition 31 will launch about two weeks from now. That will be Russian cosmonaut Gennady Padalka and Sergei Revin, and NASA astronaut Jose Acaba. You can see them here. So some of the other vehicle traffic that was going on over the weekend, the, oh, the previous Progress craft, the Progress 46, which undocked from the station uh, more than a week ago, was deorbited on Saturday after doing a, a series of engineering tests. And that Progress spacecraft, unlike the Soyuz, did not land. It was burned up in the Earth's atmosphere as planned over the Pacific Ocean, uh, loaded with some trash and other discarded items from the International Space Station.